Tuesday, the 5th of March, 2024, of the third week of Lent. Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. He who aims at inward and spiritual things must, with Jesus, turn aside from the crowd. Daily Prayer Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, let me sow pardon. Where there is doubt, let me sow faith. Where there is despair, let me give hope. Where there is darkness, let me give light. Where there is sadness, let me give joy. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word After a master forgives his servant a huge debt, that servant refuses similar clemency to a fellow indebted servant. The other servants became deeply disturbed. Perhaps the wicked servant failed to believe that he had in fact just been released from his own huge debt. If he had, He could have reached into his newfound position of financial security, the new riches he had effectively just been given, in order to show mercy. When we are tempted to be pitiless, let us not fail to recall that we have the love of God within us. That conviction is deepened whenever we pray. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Bring glory to your name, O Lord. Mercy becomes our identity when we follow the Lord with our whole heart. The Epistle We ask you to receive us with humble and contrite hearts. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel, chapter 3, verse 25. Azariah stood up in the fire and prayed aloud, For your name's sake, O Lord, do not deliver us up forever, or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us, for the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one to whom you promised to multiply their offspring like the stars of heaven or the sands on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, no burnt offering, sacrifice, oblation or incense, no place to offer first fruits to find favor with you. But with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received, as though it were burnt offerings of rams and bullocks or thousands of fat lambs. So let our sacrifice be in your presence today as we offer you unreservedly for those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you and we pray to you. Do not let us be put to shame, but deal with us in your kindness and great mercy. Deliver us by your wonders and bring glory to your name, O Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 25 Remember your mercies, O Lord. 
Responsorial Verse Remember your mercies, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice, he teaches the humble his way. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Gospel Acclamation Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. King of endless glory. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Gospel Unless each of you forgives your brother and sister, the Father will not forgive you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 18. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, the master ordered him to be sold along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, He found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had him put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then, in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you, unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation Let our sacrifices be in your presence today. Daniel chapter 3 verse 40 Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, also called Hananiah, Azariah, and Mishael, were in the fire, but in a sense, 
So were all the exiles who were living in Babylon at the time. Daniel chapter 3 verse 25 Far from home, the Israelites couldn't worship God by offering their sacrifices in the temple in Jerusalem. Even worse, now they were being forced to worship the king's golden statue. The three men refused, so they were thrown into a white-hot furnace. So hot that it even burned the king's men who had cast them into it. Daniel chapter 3 verse 22 Only God could save them. And so Azariah turned to him in prayer. Acknowledging the sins of his people, he told God that he had no burnt offering, sacrifice, oblation, or incense to offer him. Instead, he offered himself. Let our sacrifices be in your presence today. Daniel chapter 3 verse 40 In the fire, it was only a contrite heart and humble spirit that these men could give to the Lord. Daniel chapter 3 verse 39 We've all been in the fire at one time or another. Difficult times that make us realize we don't have the strength, energy, or power to help ourselves, never mind offer anything to the Lord. We may struggle to worship Him the way we did in better times. We can only come to God as these men did and offer Him a contrite heart and a humble spirit. That means admitting our weaknesses and limitations and looking only to God to rescue us. The good news is that this is exactly what the Lord wants from us. Of course, He is pleased with our good deeds and our prayers, but He also knows that when we are at the end of our rope, we are able to see ourselves as we truly are, totally dependent on Him. And amazingly, when we throw ourselves on God's mercy and stop trying to change our situations on our own, He shows us just how powerfully He can work in our lives. Whether or not you're in a white-hot furnace today, offer yourself to the Lord with a contrite heart and a humble spirit. Do this every day and trust Him to do His work in you. Lord, I give myself to you today and always. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May His peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.